Hey guys, we're back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a review on the Casino Heist DLC. Uh, so far, of course, there's drip feed to come out. More stuff is going to come out. But, I mean, right now, we got the main thing that we want. So, I'm just going to go ahead and give the review on it now. I'm not going to wait till the drip feed's over. I don't see the point in doing that for most updates. There's nothing significant, at least I don't think so, behind the drip feed. So, I'm not going to wait. You know, with the nightclub, the terabyte, you know, you had to wait for the terabyte to come out because that was a big part. But there's, I don't think there's anything like that with this. It's just regular vehicles, right? And vehicles aren't really a big part of the update. The update was very good, in my opinion, to be honest with you. They had a lot of content in it. Uh, it's a very fun update, and it's it's worth the wait. <clears throat> I, um, the heist itself, I've only, I played the big con and the stealth approach. Both are pretty fun, but uh, I don't know about the loud one, because I haven't done that, but... The big con and stealth approach are very uh, fun ways to run it. The big con, though, can be annoying because, as you see here, like, like, we don't really know where what we're doing yet, where we're going, right? So, I think it was kind of, kind of dumb that uh, we get alert. They alert right here, right? Like, yeah, we were in a restricted area, but like, the game doesn't really tell you that. You know, the game doesn't emphasize, hey, you're in a restricted area or whatever. You know, I don't I don't think that's fair. So I was just watching that. Um, I don't think it's fair. I don't know if right here we he, with possible because uh, it said possible or the ground. I don't know if it's because he pulled out a gun and just started shooting him or if it's because of um, it's just the game picked him. I don't know. But that, I mean, if it's that sensitive, it's kind of dumb. It doesn't, it's not clear where you gotta go. You just have to figure it out. You know, it's kind of dumb. Uh, if you don't get spotted, though, you just go to the vault, grab the money, and walk out. It's all straight. I like the big con approach a lot. I enjoy the fact that you can uh, just walk in and steal in plain sight, right? Like, you can go in there, guns blazing, if you want, but you don't have to. You can just walk in, steal it, walk out. It's easy. You just sell it, deliver it, and go. I like that. The heist is very fun for the big con. Uh, I think we got it on our first try. Yeah, we did. Um, it was a very fun ride to do. This is our first try that we did it. We finished it. And we all got paid. Didn't get paid very much, but it's whatever. I actually don't have the, um, what you call it, the stealth approach filmed uh, for some reason. Even though we ran it after we did the big con. I'm sorry about that, but I don't have any film for it right now. Um, the mission is pretty sensitive too it's the same way uh, you have to go through guards and even metal detectors uh, you also gotta deal with some cameras you get a taser that you can use to uh, I don't know if you can actually tase the guards and do anything to them but you can um, I don't know if it'll actually not alert if you tase the guard right because they're yelling and stuff but I know if you shoot the camera with it then it disables the camera for a while for a certain time right which is uh pretty good and when you sneak by you're gonna want that camera fucking disabled um you can't be seen at all though you have to sneak around and go under the vault um you must get out for the time runs out though i feel like this one could be very fun when you do it properly we ended up alerting after we got through the vault after we got to the vault we alerted because we spent too much time in there and we alerted which caused the um, the alarm to go off and all that stuff to just kick off. <clears throat> the stealth approach is very fun. It took us like ten tries to get it. I you know I think you should play all three approaches. To be honest, they're probably all fun. I don't know about the uh, the one where you go loud, but the stealth approach is probably not my favorite. I'd, I'd say so far out of the two of them, I like the big con more. Uh, I prefer it, but the stealth approach is very fun. If you like sneaking around and stuff, yeah, it's great. Uh, the stealth approach for us kind of it throws you into the fire, like you go in, brother. Like you know, it's you go uh, the way we did it, go through the waste disposal. That's the thing about these is that you could just because I choose the big con doesn't mean our big con mission is going to be the same, right? All of them are different. That's one thing I like about this heist a lot, and I love it. Anyway, on to the next thing. The setup missions, they can take a, uh, this whole heist can take a long time to set up. Missions vary depending on your approach that you end up doing and what you scout at, um, out at the casino. If you see less things, you have less ways to do it. If you see more, you have more ways to do it. 
Um, and if your approach is specific, obviously you're not going to go through the front door on the stealth, right? Because you're just, you're automatically seen. You're not going to do that. You know, each approach is different and uh, you'll have different missions and different ways of doing it and stuff. Um, all of them can be done solo. So this is very solo friendly. The vehicles you have to steal instead of stealing four of them, since all vehicles that you're going to want to use are going to be two door at least, then you only need two of them for four people. So they, unlike the Doomsday, they don't make you steal four for four people. You know, I like that. And even the missions where you don't have to steal vehicles or something, they're, they're still solo friendly. It's easy to do solo. There's no, you have no trouble. You'll get it done quicker with people, of course, but you'll have no trouble at all doing a solo. Um, having more people will help with some of them, though. Like some of these will be very hard missions to do uh, without people. <clears throat> the, that are really enemies don't have a lot of health. So you're you're fine on that. It's not like Doomsday where you got to put five clips into a dude. Enemies really don't have that high of health, but they're also it's not low either. You know, it's definitely above normal. I'd say uh, all of these are done in free mode, right? You do not have to go into a separate screen for a single one of them, and in, the, in the, any type of mission lobby or anything. You just do them straight in that solo lobby. Which is kind of fun. Well, not fun, but kind of, it's nice because then I don't have to wait on load times or invite anybody in or someone lagging out and fucking it up or nothing. You have to be a VIP CEO or MC president in order to run any of these missions. A lot of variety within there, though, because what you scope out is basically what happens. Is um, What you scope out and what you decide to do impacts everything. So if I don't, if I do all just the bare minimum and I scoped out the bare minimum, then guess what? I have the bare minimum to run. But if I scope out everything that I can, uh, and then I do every mission that I can, then I have more and more, and it's more of an advantage on me. And it's really, it makes the mission so much better. <clears throat> the general heist prep seem to be the same for any way you run the heist. So, like, the uh, key card mission, right, getting those... It seems to be the same mission over and over and over again for each one. It's just, it seems to be that the ones that are specific to the heist or that are mandatory are the ones that are a little different, I think. I'm not sure. The missions can be very fun, and the setups, like I said before, are solo friendly, which is very big for me, be it mostly solo. It's, it makes it nice. I don't have to wait on other people to do the mission or anything. I really do appreciate that, and really adds value to it. Uh, options in this update are huge. Uh, Rockstar gives players a lot of choice within the update. Uh, there are three different ways to run the heist, for example. You can do missions that make the heist easier, but you don't have to do those missions, of course. Um, you can choose who you're going to be using for your, um, for your support, basically your hacker, your getaway vehicle, uh, vehicle guy, then your gunman. So those three positions right there you have choice in. The more you're willing to pay somebody, the um, pay the uh, NPC, the better the stuff is, right? Which is pretty important. Um, and also the options within um, doing all the setups, right? I don't have to do any of the optional work or the stuff that's not mandatory if I don't want to. Uh, but if I want to, I can, right? Even coming to getaway vehicles, if I want to, I can upgrade them. I don't have to, though. I can get a decoy if I want to. I can get uh, a vehicle that I, I can use in the getaway if I want to, you know? There's a lot of options within the update, and I really like it. Uh, another thing that's kind of related, I guess, would be um, if you get spotted, it does not fail. Or if you go kind of off plane, it doesn't fail. I like that because that's kind of annoying to where sometimes like, oh, why does it matter if, you know, this dude saw me on the mission, right? Like sometimes in the other heist, it was dumb because something will go wrong that really didn't impact the mission too much. But it, oh no, it, you know, you failed. And I really never liked it. The options give replay value, right? Because I can run it to where I go in as a bug star guy and, and big con and rob it right 
uh, I can do it that way if I want to, or I can go in as a security guard, uh, as one of the money people. Um, I can go in loud. I can go in with the stealth. I can do it any way I want, basic almost. Um, the heist doesn't really give you the same thing over and over, which is cool. Huge improvement from the other heists, and this the options in this update definitely add to it and are is kind of the reason in a way that the update's fun and um, it's different for everybody because my experience is not the same as yours and your experience won't be the same as mine. It's it just it's a lot cooler and adds a lot of value and I'm kind of surprised that Rockstar had this much option in it. The business part of it, the above ground, the arcade, whatever you want to call it, the front basically um, takes away from the update in many ways. Actually, uh, it doesn't really add much to the game, right? It barely pays anything. It pays very badly. I think you get paid like thirty eight hundred dollars a day or something like that. And this is I have everything which costs millions of dollars to um, pay for these arcade games that, that are fun, right? A lot of them are fun to mess around with and just play with and stuff, right? But these games that are hundreds of thousands of dollars that I was like, okay, mate, because I didn't expect for the arcade to pay me super well. I was at least hoping for ten grand a day. Like, come on. And no, they don't pay that at all. It does not pay anything, really. Um... It's pro. It's not even like a, a car upgrade. Like there's paint jobs that are more than three thousand um, dollars. You know, there's cars that are uh, less than that. Like that point made no sense. But the point is that it's three grand, right? Like it's so stupid that I said something very very dumb just now, right? Three grand's not nothing. I was really hoping. That it would pay more than uh, three grand, at least ten grand, but hopefully more than a nightclub, right? It somehow managed to pay less than a nightclub, which is pretty surprising. Um, like, wow, they fucking did that again to us! Like, holy shit! I was hoping that it would be a decent business to run. Like, okay, maybe uh, you have to do this, that, or that to run the business, right? Okay. That's cool, cool, right? You know, do little missions for it. No, you don't even get missions for it or nothing that you can run if you want. Uh, it doesn't pay well at all, and it's kind of sad. Like, there's potential here, and then it's just thrown out. Uh, I get that it's a front, uh, but three grand's not even like, okay, they're just giving you money. You know, they, they, come on, three grand's not nothing. Uh, it's one thing, the nightclub is ten grand, right? That's a little something, but... You know, three grand ain't shit, like, at all. I think there's bills that are more than that. Well, there definitely are bills that are more than that. I think, like, the bills I pay for the property and my mechanic and uh, my yacht would be more expensive than that. Like, that's not good, you know? Like, why? What's the point of even paying me for it, you know? And why why are these arcade games hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get paid three grand? Like, I don't understand the point. It, this part of the update it, it pissed me off because it was it was it was dumb. It just takes away from the update. It doesn't make me happy that the game only pays you three grand for a day. Like I get that it's not gonna pay a lot, but at the same time, three grand ain't shit. Why pay me that? Like, come on, Rockstar, you could have done way better on this. And this is very disappointing. This is one of the biggest things in the update that's bad, to be honest. The arcade games are fun. Um, there's going to be something that, you know, you like in the arcade games that you can buy. <clears throat> you could play them for probably, you know, an hour or two. Uh, the high score gives you something to work for, I guess, if you really want to overachieve. They all vary in what they do, but they're still the arcade games, right? So there's not a lot of detail to them, but they can be just fun to fuck around with a little bit. The high score gives you something to work for. Already said that. This is fucking awkward. Uh, you automatically get one game. I think the game is the same one in the nightclub. Uh, no, not nightclub, in the casino. The arcade games cost lots and lots of dollars, like hundreds of thousands of them. And they are expensive for no reason, right? Like, why do I have to pay 800000 not 800000 like 500000 for this thing that's not going to give me a lot of uh, money back, right? It's not ever really going to give me money back, but... 
doesn't pay me my money back and it doesn't even give me what you call it and then you know it gives me my fun for a little bit but after a while I mean, fuck, it's boring right there's no point in it and I, I just i don't like that <sighs> these arcade games cost so much and then they give you so little back it's it, it's kind of stupid to me that rockstar did that the more games that have you, you have the more money you make but really there's not an incentive for it right like oh no i'm not making three grand a day what the fuck like who cares so really if you're not gonna play these arcade games don't make the same mistake i didn't buy them just keep a don't fucking buy it all right keep your money just don't all right don't they're not worth the they're not worth it just trying to get my money i thought hey maybe if i buy these i'll get paid 20 30 thousand a day and i was wrong so don't buy them if you just want money buy them for fun or to get awards or challenges or you know all that or whatever but, like I said, don't buy them just because you want to make more money. Game tells you that like it's something. It's not. Don't make that same mistake if you don't have the money to spare. The vehicles that were added, uh, there were, you know, quite a few that were added, actually. Uh, there are many more that will be coming, of course, though, right? Uh, you can buy vehicles that you couldn't really even, you couldn't even store them before, right? The uh, fire truck and two lifeguard vehicles, but I think the ATV you could store. Uh, but they could buy a fire truck. I don't know if you could store that or if it's a Pegasus vehicle, though. Um, but that's you know, to me, it's very cool, right? There are many more vehicles to come, obviously. There's 20 to 25, I think. I don't care, I don't really know, but just I'm guessing that just because that's normally what the updates come with now, they have a lot of drip feed because there's not going to be another update released until either March or until July, so. Or June. There's not going to be another update release till then. So they're going to try and do a lot of drip feed so that we can uh, have some fun and have something new coming out every day. Uh, but what's kind of like may always makes me mad about Rockstar adding new vehicles. I mean, these vehicles are cool, right? You can have the, the money truck now, the uh, fire truck, uh, Bugstar's van. Uh, what else can you add? The lifeguard SUV, the lifeguard ATV, you can buy it. Um, there's some cool new sports cars, right? There's a luxury SUV that's actually pretty fucking fast. Like, I bought it today, and I was like, God damn, that's fast. But, they add 20, 25 vehicles and give you 10 spots that are new to put them in. Like, I'm running out of space. I don't have space to store some vehicles. And, you know, they're going to add all these vehicles, but I can't fucking store most of them, right? So, that's kind of always annoying, right? If you're going to add 20, 25 vehicles, give me 20, 25 spots to put them in. Because if not, then, well, I can't really do much, you know? That always bothers me in these updates. I don't get why they just give you 10 spaces. Like, that's going to fucking do something, right? <laughs> Uh, it, it's just it's fucking annoying it, it takes away from every update to be honest it's one of the most annoying things about it about any update the fact that I can't store the fucking vehicles it's whatever clothes uh, within the update are pretty nice right there's a lot of them that I like uh, to unlock many of the clothes though you have to play certain missions there's a lot of them most of them you don't actually have to play anything for but some of the outfits, and then there are some select pieces of clothing that you have to um, do the missions for. A lot of the cool outfits, so you have to do the missions for to unlock. But they're kind of worth fucking doing because they're just badass looking. Uh, the even just the regular clothes are pretty cool in, uh, in my opinion. You have access to outfits that wow, you know, you never really thought that you would before, right? Like in GTA, I never thought I could actually dress up as a correctional officer without a mod, right? I never thought that I'd be able to be a bug stars worker, right? Things like that. I think it's very cool that they added them. Uh, all the new clothing is very cool. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, more clothes would have been cool, though, because some of them I feel like weren't really put... No, not a lot of was put into them. Like, some of the uh, vests, like, what's the point, you know? And some of them, they're just ugly looking, and there's not much you can match them up with. But most of them, I mean, most of the clothes are badass looking. They're very cool, and I love them. And I'm glad the Rockstar added them because, you know, they're new clothes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw tattoos in here, too, right? There's a lot of new tattoos 
um, that were added. Not a lot, but there's like two or three per category. The face and the neck tattoos, or the head tattoos, I think is what they're under, have a lot of options, which is cool. But you can't put a lot on your face, right? Which, if I have a spider on my jawline on the left side of my face, I should be able to have wanted on my eyebrow and it not kill the spider and say, get off, right? I should be able to do that, but you can't, right? That's dumb. That needs to be changed. Other than that, though, the tattoos are cool and I love them. Everything with the cosmetics basically is cool, except for some of them are just kind of like, yeah, you could have put more effort into that or, you know, that's not really looking that good. Why do you even add that? Most of them look good, though, and this definitely adds to the update. doesn't take much away from it at all. The mobile command, the command terminal thing, I don't know what it's called. It's not mobile, so it's not fucking mobile, but the command terminal thing for your businesses is pretty cool. Cool idea. Fucking great idea. Acts as a terabyte, right? Definitely pretty cool thing to get. You can do anything from it that you want with the businesses, right? I can sell my crate warehouse from the comfort of my arcade that pays me four grand a day. That's fucking cool, right? To me. You can change your DJ from this location, right? If I, I don't feel like driving two blocks down the street, maybe four, I don't have to. I don't know, I can change my DJ from the comfort of my own, very own arcade. But you can also buy supplies from it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. If you're going to be buying supplies from multiple businesses, right, that's very useful. Uh, what do you call it? You can do all this from one location, which is cool. We sell, however, though, you have to make a trip to your business. This right here takes away from the fucking update, right? There's no point in letting me sell from one location if I'm not selling from that location. I get why you have to go back to business, because even realistically, you would be going from there, right? In real life, you should just be sitting out there and, you know, like, oh, fuck, waiting for you. But the fact that it doesn't just come back to you, come back to the, the arcade and it starts from there, it's kind of dumb. It makes this whole terminal thing pointless, right? Because I'm not really going to use it, because there's no point. I mean... I don't want to just source stuff, right? I want to actually uh, be able to sell from there, right? That's the biggest thing. So if I don't want to go up to this place on the map, I can just sell from there and go on with my life. But no, Rockstar cannot let that happen. Uh, it really takes away from the whole update, takes away from the whole feature of the mobile thing. Well, not the mobile, the command terminal. I won't really use it often because I can't sell from it, right? It's very, very dumb that Rockstar would do that, but, I mean, I guess it's whatever, you know. I don't see why they would do it like that, but they did, and it just fucked it all up. I mean, there's, I would not recommend buying this, because, well, if you buy supplies for multiple businesses a lot, then buy it, but if you're wanting to sell then no don't don't even fucking worry about it because it's pointless to sell from if you're a solo player don't get it the weapons um that were added i think there was just two weapons that were actually added into the game one of them is based off of a glock it is a ceramic pistol it's basically used because in the big con approach you obviously need to have guns in case some shit goes down but you gotta walk past metal detectors so ceramic pistol boom no metal uh is detected you get away with it. Coo, coo, coo. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It shoots somewhat fast. Um, and to unlock it, you just have to finish the big con approach as a leader. And then there's another gun, I think, called the Navy Revolver. And uh, you have to do like some type of challenge or something in order to get it, which I don't know necessarily how I feel about that. Because like, they add a lot of challenges into these updates, which is kind of annoying because they're like 50 things you have to go all the way across the map and find and stuff but at the same time it's kind of fun to do them um and you know it's whatever but the i don't know what the navy revolver how to get it or anything i don't even know if it's fucking worth it to be honest i'm gonna do it eventually do whatever you need to do to unlock it but um yeah so there's two new pistols in the game uh it's really 
All I say about the weapons, uh, the Glock is good, but the weapons aren't that big of a deal because they're just pistols, so you're never really going to use them. So, I mean, I wish they would add a real fucking rifle or something in, but it's whatever. Wendy is a new contact in the game, uh, which is pretty cool to me. Uh, the game tells you every time you load into a lobby, actually, so that just shows how important she is to the game and to you. Uh, every time you log in, you have to be notified of her existence. It's pretty It's pretty cool. I, I love the fact that they did that. Um, it's a really new feature. I never thought that we'd ever get a new contact, to be honest. Uh, especially of such useful ones such as Wendy. I'm so glad that she's in my phone and taking up space for no fucking reason. I'm really glad with that. 10 out of 10. Fuck like that. 50 out of 10. The Mark II got changed. Uh, around a little bit the spawn it's no longer you can't spam it right like back uh, before the update you could go with registers and MC uh, call your mark 2 in get it blown up call Moore's mutual call it back in get it blown up do the same thing and just repeat and repeat and repeat and you could do it I mean I think like the, it would it could take you like a minute you could probably do it within probably shit less than that probably 45 seconds probably even less than that to be honest probably 30 but uh, and you could just keep spawning in the Mark II and spamming it and stuff, which obviously the um, Mark II spam is annoying and uh, it, you know cause problems because people don't, won't miss with those rockets. Those rockets don't miss, and you were able to um, you couldn't lock onto nobody from the ground with the Mark II because they added that in the casino update for some reason, thinking that was a good idea. Uh, but no, now you actually you can lock onto somebody. Uh, on the Mark II from the ground with the gun and you can kill them, shoot them off of it and uh, if you call in the Mark II, no matter where you call it in from, it's a five minute cooldown even if it's from the MC menu, you have to wait five minutes to for it to actually spawn in and um, I think that's actually pretty good because spamming was annoying uh, it's not really affecting anybody, any grinders or anything because you don't call in your Mark II that often and if you do, then use something else for a minute or two. That's you. You can use other vehicles other than the Mark II. It's you know, if you're calling it in that much, you're most likely griefing. Yeah, nine times out of ten, it's a fucking grief for calling it in that much. Grinders don't really fuck with it. I mean, don't call it in that much, right? Grinders obviously use the Mark II, but they don't. They ain't gonna call that bitch in that much. Overall, I think the update is pretty fun. It's pretty cool uh it has a lot of content it definitely was what we hoped for uh one of the more most important things in the update though is that wendy is a new contact very useful contact too uh an actual new gun or two was added even though they're pistols which i'm tired of getting pistols or melee weapons like i'm not gonna fucking use those why not add just a straight up ak-47 or something instead of the draco or the uh the little ak the modern ak that they got Put AK-47 in or something, or... I don't know. Fuck. Just put something else in other than a pistol. Because I'm not going to ever use a pistol. I mean, fuck, if I'm using pistols, it's AP pistol. I mean, that's it. There's no point in the other ones, for real. Uh, arcade games can be fun. But at the same time, the arcade takes away from the update. Because it... Let me watch this save right here, too. I don't even did nothing. Just look at that. But anyway, the arcade takes away from the update. Because it does not pay well, right? Like, it doesn't even pay 10000 a day. It pays 3810 or something like that. Like, what? It's not even like, ah, oh, okay, it's just that little bit extra money to help. No, bitch, I, go give me the three grand a day. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? Why even have that in the game, right? At least we don't have to do popularity for it. But, like, it's why. Uh, like, honestly. And then playability with the arcade, there's none. There's fucking nothing. I mean, you, you buy it. If you play all the games and do what you want on those, then guess what? You're not able to do much more. I mean, fuck, it gets boring after a while. To me, I, I just don't understand why they, uh, why they did the business the way they did. There's You can't do much. After a while, it's going to be very, very boring business to do anything with. Um... Uh, the command terminal also takes away from it because it takes away um, it, you can't sell right like you cannot sell from your arcade right so what's the point of me even being able to launch a sell mission from there 
I can start it, yay. But what's the point? Like, I still gotta go all the way back up to the business to get something. Like, I, I don't, I don't see why they even added the sell, being able to sell in. Maybe it was just because they wanted to have just the computer basically there. And the sale, since it's part of the option of the business, it's just what it is. I don't know. But if you're going to let me sell from my arcade, and I paid for the arcade, and for the terminal thing, then let me let me sell from that location. Because I've wasted money on it, because I'm never going to fucking use it. I've used it a couple times to do my popularity, because I was AFK and was in my uh, arcade. But other than that, I ain't touched it. Like, that, it, it was dumb. There's not enough garage space added either. That's always annoying. Don't add... 530 vehicles into the game and then give me 10 spots to put them in right or just let me buy more properties let's shit let me buy like four more properties and we'll be straight for like an update and a half right there right maybe less i don't know we don't know right never know that's uh, rockstar i just don't get why they keep adding all these cars in and then giving you 10 spots to put 20 cars because the math right there doesn't work out, right? You can't stack them or nothing. If I could stack them bitches and yeah, okay, I'd be like, all right, cool, that's, that's a cool feature, right? But no, you can't. It, it's fucking stupid. Overall, I mean, the update's good. A solid 8 out of 10, right? 8.5, we'll go 8.5. 8.5 out of 10, locking that in, final answer. That, that's the update, right? It's not everything that I wanted, right? I was really hoping that command terminal, right? I was like, ah, right, you're going to be able to sell from here. Uh, that's cool. No, you can't. And also, I thought the another thing that kind of annoyed me is like I was like, oh, maybe we, we can run the site solo, just because it's like oh, we're paying for a gunman, right? Paying for a hacker, a getaway dr uh, driver, vehicle getter, right? Nope, can't do a solo. Why? Why even set me up with all this if I can't do a solo, right? I don't get that, but it's whatever. Um, yeah, solid eight point five out of ten. Uh, I like it. A lot of the stuff in here is pretty cool. All the clothes, I think most of the clothes are cool. Uh, a lot of new content. Mark two changes. Uh, overall, the update's pretty good. There's just some things in here that are just utterly fucking retarded, and I don't understand how somebody actually has a job that came up with some of these. But it's whatever. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next one. Have a good day. Bye.